I'm going to show you a great add-on in the Google Drive for adding voice comments to student documents. First thing you're going to need to do is log into kaizena.com and then enable it into your Google Drive. Mine's already enabled so I get this screen afterwards. The next step is to go into your drive and find the document that you want to add these comments to. Here's one I'll be using. Right click on it, go to Open with Kaizena. It's going to load in a new browser, a little bit different than just Google Drive, but it's going to give you a lot of options. So you're going to see the document here on the right. This is just like what the student had written. And just like doing normal comments, all you need to do is highlight the word or the section of the text that you'd like to make a comment on, and it gives you three options. A voice comment, a text comment, or you can even insert um, resources like websites or links. We're going to click on the voice comment first, the microphone. Click on it, you click record, and then you make your comment. Remember that at the, every, the first letter of every word in a title needs to be capitalized. Click stop. You can play this to make sure it's what you wanted to say. Remember, Remember that at the click done. And what's cool about Kaizena is now you can change colors. So maybe you can have coding. Maybe I'm going to say anything that's a convention, a capital letter, a punctuation is going to be green. So when the student sees it, they kind of know what they're looking for. So I can go in a little further and I can see that she smelled the word, spelled the word smart incorrectly. I can do a voice comment, but it's almost as easy just to make the correction for her. So I will click on the text and just spell the word correctly. Click comment. And once again, it's a convention, so I'm going to say green. I can see that she didn't indent the first word. So maybe I have a cool link for that. So I'm going to click the link one. And indent first word. And here's where I can put my link in. And I put a YouTube link in. I'll click add. And maybe since it's something a little bit different, I'm going to keep this maybe yellow. And down here, there's a period out of place. So maybe I just want to say, make sure you don't add extra spaces and keep punctuation where it needs to be. I'm done. And that was a conventions also. And then you're all done. So when you're done making your comments, you go to the left-hand side, this big green box. You want to send the feedback back to the author. You could send it email-wise, but it's just as easy just to put it right inside the document. So when I click on it, it's going to now load in that comment box just like Google normally does. So the student then would go into their document to view it. They're going to click on it, and it's going to open in their drive as it normally would have. They're going to go up to the comments in the top right, click, and they're going to have a link to all of the comments that I made or the teacher made. They'll click on it, and it's going to open in that exact same window that you and I just saw. With all of their color codes, with all of the highlights done, and all the student has to do now is click the I, and this was obviously a voice one, click play. Remember, Remember that, that at the, ever so they can see what errors they had. Um, that one with the link, if they open, they'll get the YouTube video they can actually go to, and it will open and they'll be able to watch. It could be a web link, so, it could be just you anything know else you want to give how them. To make uh, maybe you're doing well, class Wilson badges, you may use this to maybe log in and see their badges. Then all a student needs to do is go back to their document, and when they actually make all their corrections, they can resolve this. Click on Resolve, it's taken care of, it's all done. Just like Google um, Comments, except for this adds a few more resources in it. It's a great tool, and it works really well.